In this video, I want to show you guys the best way to install Windows 11 with a simple file called answer file or XML file or unattend file. Let's just call it an answer file. So this is basically a XML file which can be used to modify Windows settings during installation. You can automate Windows installation with this plus you can modify settings. Okay, this can be really useful. Uh, this looks simple, but it is really powerful, especially for Windows 11. As you guys know, Windows 11 has system requirements. With this, you can bypass those. You can disable certain features that you don't need. Let's say, for example, if you don't want a automatic BitLocker enabled during Windows 11 installation, yeah, you can disable it. You can also debloat Windows 11 with this. If you're an expert, you can make your own XML file. You can go to the Microsoft website from here. You can learn how to create and all that. But I mean, if you don't know how to create one, then you can use online tools. Like for example, there is this really popular website which can help you generate XML file, the answer file, or they call it a auto unattended XML file. When I first heard about this, I found this to be complicated, but this is actually not complicated. This is really simple. So I'm going to show you guys my personal settings that I use uh, in this XML file. Let's uh, make the text a little bigger. So the first option we have region and language settings. You can set region and language settings in here so you don't have to do it manually when you're installing the Windows 11. So if you want that, you can select the option this option which will be auto selected and then from here you can change the language your keyboard layout and whatnot or if you want to do it manually during installation you can select this option select language settings interactively during windows setup but i prefer the first option now processor architectures for most people it is going to be the second option intel amd 64 bit just in case if you're using arm device uh, for windows then you can select the ARM one. Now, here comes the juicy parts, <laughs> okay? Bypass Windows 11 system requirements. If you want to, yeah, you can check that. Uh, but if you have TPM secure boot and everything, you know, you don't have to do this. Second option, allow Windows 11 to be installed without connection. Check that. If you don't have internet connection, it will bypass the internet requirement computer name you can choose the computer name right now or it will auto generate so let's give it a name uh, win 11 pc time zone i'm going to keep it default partitioning i suggest you guys to leave it default partition the disk interactively during windows setup so you can choose in which drive you want to install the uh, windows during installation i suggest you to keep this option enabled okay don't go with the second option unless you know what you're doing windows edition yeah you can choose it here i'm gonna go with the pro if you have home key or something like that you can go with the home or you can actually uh, enter the product key during windows installation uh, i prefer the first option and then i use my own key okay now in accounts you can actually create a local account within this Okay, it will automate everything. So let's create a account. Let's say KB and password 1212. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to delete the other one. You can create up to five accounts actually, but for me, one will do because I'm the only one who's using this. Once we do this, it will automatically create a local account. But remember your password. Don't forget that. <laughs> okay, password expiration leave it as it is account policy leave it default windows uh, explorer tweaks if you want to tweak your windows settings from here you can do that like show hidden files and everything you know but i leave it as it is i can enable those settings after i'm done installing system tweaks here there are a couple of things that i actually change disable windows defender I don't recommend it unless if you want to use another antivirus program, yes, you can disable Windows Defender using this. But I use Windows Defender, so I'm not going to disable it. Disable user account control. I usually do it after I'm done installing, but let's check that. Disable smart app control. Uh, since you can't turn it on again once you disable it, I'm, I'm not going to disable it. Okay. Disable smart screen in Windows and Edge. 
I'm not gonna disable that fast startup. I, I always disable that. So I can automate this now with this. Disable system protection. No, I'm not gonna do that. Remote desktop. Uh, no, I don't wanna enable that. None of these actually. Disable app suggestions. Okay, that's the one that I wanna disable. I always do that once I install the windows. Now I can automate this. Uh, prevent uh, device encryption. In newer versions of Windows 11, there is a automatic BitLocker encryption. So this is a new feature which I don't like. So if you're also someone who doesn't want to use BitLocker, then check this option, prevent device encryption. Okay. Uh, and uh, make Edge uninstallable. As you guys know, you cannot uninstall Microsoft Edge, but uh, using this, you can make a Microsoft Edge uninstallable. But in Europe countries, you can actually uninstall Microsoft Edge. This is basically gonna change this JSON file settings and make the Edge uninstallable. Audit process creation events. No, I keep everything as it is. Virtual machines support. So let's say if you're testing uh, the XML file on virtual machine, then you can also install the virtual machine uh, tools here. But if you're installing this on a real hardware, don't check any of these. Wi-Fi setup. Yeah, you can also configure your Wi-Fi. Since I have Ethernet, I don't have to do this. So I leave it as it is default. Okay. Express settings disabled all. And this is the default option. So I keep it as it is. Lock keys default. Windows wallpapers, I use default, remove bloatware. Here, this is the section where you can de-bloat Windows 11. This is actually really good. So what I suggest you guys to do is click on select all. So this will select all. Now go through the apps that you want to actually have and uncheck them. Let's say, for example, I want the Windows terminal. Okay, I wanna uncheck that. I want the photos uh, and uh, I also want, uh, clock calculator and i also want the notepad okay go through each of these uh, apps and uh, whichever you want to have want to keep untick those once you select all okay so i think these are the only apps that i want i actually use outlook okay i'm gonna enable that so these are the apps that i keep and rest will get removed okay so yeah it's really simple to deep load Windows 11 with this. This is amazing. I'll, I'll give you guys a demo. Next, I don't touch this option, run custom scripts. If you have or want to run custom scripts, you can put them here, but I don't touch this. So I'm just gonna leave them blank and I'm gonna go down Windows Defender application control. I leave it as it is default. You can go back and check the uh, all the options one more time carefully. Once you're happy, uh, go down and in here, just download the XML file. Okay, just click on download, save. This is a simple like 22 kilobytes of file. And this thing can debloat, change, automate Windows installation. I know this is unbelievable, <laughs> but this actually works. Next, we need a Windows 11 ISO file. You can download the Windows 11 ISO file from official website, or you can also create a bootable USB drive of Windows 11 using this tool uh, called Media Creation Tool. Okay, you can click and do that, but I prefer downloading the ISO file and then downloading another tool called Rufus. This is a free tool. Using this, you can make bootable USB drive for Windows, Linux and all that. So, so I'm going to download this and I have the ISO file already downloaded. So now I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Here you can see all the files that we need. This is the XML file. This is the ISO file and the Rufus. I'm going to run the Rufus and going to create a bootable USB drive. I have a 32 gigabytes of USB drive. Uh, it is recommended to have at least eight gigabytes of USB drive. So select whichever USB drive you want to use here. If you have multiple, uh, choose the one that you want to use. I only have one. So it is auto selected actually. And then I'm going to click on select. And now I'm going to go to the downloads folder and select the Windows 11 ISO file here. And after that, 
you can leave everything as it is default you don't have to touch anything now uh, i can click on start and this will prompt this and this tool can actually bypass the system requirements and also create a local account and also disable the uh, BitLocker automatic device encryption. Since we have already done all these in XML file, we don't have to do this here. Okay, so we can just uh, unselect everything and we can click on OK. Now, uh, just click on OK again. This will basically format the USB drive and will create a bootable USB drive of Windows 11. Once it's done, it will say ready and you can just close this program. Now you can see this is the bootable USB drive that we just created. All right. Now here to use the that XML file, all we need to do here is go to the downloads folder and find that XML file. Now just copy this file. Okay and go to the bootable USB drive that you just created and paste that XML file here. Done. That's it. This is really simple. Yeah. One XML file can do so many things. Unbelievable, right? Now let's test this out. Now I'm going to install this on virtual machine. I'm going to give you guys a demo and I'm going to use the same bootable USB drive in VMware. Okay. Can I go full screen? Let me try. Yeah, I can. So this is, I guess, the drive. Yeah. Okay. The installation has begun. Now you'll see it will automate most of the things that we have selected. Like it won't ask for uh, language and region selection. It will just skip that part totally. You can see. Now it will stop where we haven't configured anything. Okay. I think it's straight going to the point where we have to select the uh, drive because we want to do that manually. You can automate that too, but I recommend for most people do it manually. You can see now we have the Windows 11 Home Pro selection screen. Okay, let's go through this. Now, this is the edition we actually selected. Now, here you can select the disk where you want to install this. I had Windows 11 installed in this previously, so I'm gonna clean up everything here first okay so now we have this drive drive zero i'm going to select that i'm going to hit next now again everything will get automated it will automatically name the device that we have chosen i think it was win 11 pc something and it will also automatically create a local account for us plus it will also debloat automatically we don't actually have to do anything <laughs> this is actually the best way to you know install windows 11 there are a couple of new features in windows 11 which i absolutely hate or don't want to use like for example onedrive it, it was okay until uh, uh, it started you know automatically backing up the user folders once it does that you can't change the location so what i usually do is uh I change the location for user folders to somewhere else, maybe secondary drive or something like that. But OneDrive makes it hard. Okay. But with this, we have already deleted the OneDrive, you know, automatically. So no issue there. So now I can have my user folders moved anywhere I want. Plus, I also don't use uh, BitLocker. So yeah, starting from 24H2, I think. Uh, Windows 11 is going to automatically enable that feature. Since I don't need that, yeah, XML file, also really useful. Same goes for some other stuff. Like I have some old laptop, which actually doesn't support Windows 11. If I want to test Windows 11 on that or install on that, I can bypass, you know, uh, the system requirement with this. And it also does the debloating thing. I think I'm just repeating myself at this point now, but this thing is actually really useful and also really simple and easy to use thanks to that uh, online uh, XML generator. Uh, what was the name? I, I should uh, I should be able to pronounce this. Schneegens, I think. Yeah, schneegens.de. If I pronounce that wrong, please correct me in the comments. This tool is actually really useful for me as a windows 11 user because there are things that i just don't like in windows 11 
Ah, I think I already explained that. <laughs> so, so you can see it is looking clean. There are no bloatwares here. There are a couple of apps that I kept, but the list is just, you can see. Actually, first let me install the graphics drivers. Oh yeah, now you'll be able to see things clearly. Let's also do this, 125%. Okay, finish. No, I won't do that. Okay, now you can see, I think we forgot to disable the widgets. You can also disable widgets from uh, that XML file. I think I <laughs> forgot to do that, but you can do, go into the settings and, you know. Now, if we go into the installed apps section, we should be able to uninstall Microsoft Edge too. Yeah, <laughs> you can uninstall Microsoft Edge. <laughs> okay, that's cool. If you don't use Microsoft Edge, yeah now you can uninstall it even if you use it having an install option is always good now let's check on the user folders can i move them if uh, there was a uh, onedrive i won't be able to do that because onedrive will automatically back up those and now i have a move option and i can move it okay clean <laughs> okay bitlocker encryption is also disabled I can go here, BitLocker control panel. Yeah, it is disabled. Cool. And that's it. And we also have the local account here. You can see automatically created. If you want to use Microsoft account, yeah, you can always do that. You can click on sign in and it will switch to Microsoft account automatically. Yeah, this is probably the best way to install Windows 11 now because Every day, there are a few things that Microsoft adds to the Windows 11. Not everyone is gonna like that, okay? Uh, I already gave you my examples. I don't like the OneDrive. I don't like the automatic BitLocker uh, feature. Plus, I don't like all those bloats. I have three big reasons to use this XML file or to use this trick to install Windows 11. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.